with your storm team weather. Here's Chris Ramirez. So, Josh, we've seen a little bit of a turn in the weather the last hour. How's everything looking out there? Yeah, you know, Isabel, we had that really strong storm move through, and we have lots of photos from our viewers. We're just going to show you the Facebook page. You see all these shots. Uh, this one from uh, Christy Roy's in North San Angelo, uh, currently looking off to the north from downtown, or at least uh, from North San Angelo. There's that shot. I'll zoom in on that shot for you, and you can see the lightning in that one. A very intense storm that rolled through. Darcy got in this photo currently. Uh, this was from between Midland and San Angelo, and you can see the uh, Mammatus clouds there, uh, that off to the west. And then we've got multiple shots of all the, uh, multiple videos, rather, of all the uh, very uh, dark clouds and also the uh, winds that blew through portions of uh, San Angelo as well. Got a good video here. Let me pull it up. I think this one's from Bethany. And uh, there we go. Now it's playing. You just see the really dark clouds and also that shaft in the background. Again, this is what rolled into San Angelo. And we'll show you what's going on right now, or at least what it looks like right now, sitting outside uh, in San Angelo, downtown San Angelo. It's 170 degrees currently there in, or not currently. This was the high temperature today, up to 107. Very hot. And when you get that hot this time of year, you get those storms that can really build up. And that's what happened in this case. Almost a complete repeat of what happened this time one year ago on June 23rd when we had those really high winds roll into the city. You're going to look at a time lapse here, and we lost the other three cameras, but Cactus West got it all the way through. And you see that storm that built up there in Sterling County and then had stuff build up towards Coke. And then now they're all going to catch up. You can see the very gusty winds, the very dusty stuff that rolled through. And that produced some pretty high winds, getting up towards 80 miles per hour at times. Here's the Cactus West view, and I want to show you it just in its entirety here. And just look at the thing out there towards Sterling County. And then watch how the wind shifts. And then that right before there, that big rain shaft, that was that second burst of wind that rolled through. And that second burst tended to be a little bit stronger. Kind of knocked us out of the studio briefly. Not knocked us out, but made us have to go take cover. Uh, briefly here at the station. We got up to 105, 106 for about six hours today. Incredibly, incredibly hot. Right now, it's cooled off. 87 degrees. It feels like 85 with your wind now the northeast at seven miles per hour. And here's the latest radar. We still have some thunderstorms rolling through there currently between Ballinger and Eden. We're going to put a loop on this for you and watch how this stuff came out of Coke County down into the northern portions of San Angelo, put out its wind, and then pushed off to the east. Now starting to get out of the Contra Valley. So it's going to be calming down. But we do have an aerial flood advisory that's currently in effect for San Angelo through 1245. And that's because any sort of rain that we've had recently has been enough to cause some street flooding. So if you're going out in time tonight, might want to give it an hour or so and be sure to watch the roads very carefully. Don't cross anything that you can't see how deep it is. 98 degrees currently in Wall, 90 in Menard, 93 in Sonora, but where that storm blew through really cooled us off into the 70s and the 80s. It's also brought some drier air in with these dew points currently in the 60s and the 70s out there and that dry air is helping to stabilize the atmosphere. Produced some pretty high winds though. Got up to an 87 mile per hour gust out there towards Grape Creek and a 72 mile per hour gust near the Buffalo Heights area. Got other thunderstorms rolling through and you'll notice the radar kind of stopping briefly. There is some severe weather to the west of Dallas over there towards Archer County and some severe thunderstorms rolling through Oklahoma and Kansas currently. But it's going to be calmer tomorrow. With the dry line still here, we just won't have the energy in the upper levels that could help to trigger these thunderstorms. Instead, we're going to have those winds out of the south, and it will be hot again with those temperatures getting up towards 103. So tonight, things start to calm down a little bit. We won't see any more storms tonight unless you live way northeast of San Angelo where that last little bit's coming through. Starting off the morning in the 70s and then tomorrow climbing up into the triple digits once again, probably a high of 103 to 104. Very hot. Tonight, down to 77, partly cloudy and Storms possible northeast of San Angelo, about a 20% chance. Sunday, we get up to 103, mainly sunny and hot again with those winds out of the south at 15 to 25, gusting to 30 miles per hour. Take a look at your extended forecast because although the heat's hanging around, it's going to die down just a little bit. Getting back into the upper 90s Wednesday and Thursday, Friday and Saturday, looking at highs there in the 97 degree range. We'll be right back. At Mitchell Toyota, it's all about putting our customers first.